Well, good evening, here from the other side of the camera on Disgracelands. I don't know what you can see because I can't see anything because the screen's over there. But I did a video for a uh, private lesson the other day and at the end of it I said something which I thought was quite interesting or may or may not be interesting. It interested me. That's probably why I said it at the time. But, you know. Let's see. We'll go see Dave first. Dave, Dave. Dave, Dave McCallum, the Invisible Pineapple. Whenever there's danger, he'll send Jeff. Dun, 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 dun. If ever there's a threat of death, dun, 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 dun. if there's a drink free going at the bar, Jeff has to mend the car. So Dave, 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 Dave McCallum, the Invisible Pineapple, will get there and drink. His entire weight in uh, tequila, really, really is his thing. Anyway, this bloke was on the TV the other day and he said this, and I think this might be quite entertaining. I found it quite interesting. As a philosophy, make up your own. This is one of mine on that particular evening, but you know. Can't win them all. visualizing something before you start if this song if this tune puts you in a particular mood in a frame of mind gives you some sort of little spark and a concept just to work with no matter how abstract use that as well you know breathe the beat of the song uh, so you become part of the timing um, and again look at dynamics loud quiet uh, think about every single note how every single note sounds this is a song that's slow enough to be able to do that um, and experiment. There's plenty of places where we're only using two fingers on the guitar and we've got a load of strings and a load of fingers spare. So think about what else you can add into it. Add as much as you like. Take away as much as you like. Have fun, all right? Um, take care. See you soon. There you go.